right, folks, let me tell you, to me, the perfect example this week of collective denial is the Central Park Jogger case. It's a loaded story. It's got race, sex, and crime. All the ingredients for a nice, juicy riot. You remember the story 12 years ago, the five black kids were convicted of raping the white woman in Central Park, leaving her for dead. Recently, the convictions were overturned due to the confession of another guy. This story has everything that nobody wants to face, race, crime, and the historical false accusation by, of black men by the justice system. If these kids were white and the girl was black, of course, there would be no problem. Just protest in the street, <laughs> feminists be angry. But there is a conspicuous silence as the white community sits tight-lipped and quiet, waiting for this to go away. Now, let me tell you something. Look at these kids, okay? This kid definitely did it. <laughs> this kid, he just went along with this kid. He does whatever this kid tells him to do. <laughs> this kid would have raped me if I was in the park that night. This kid, that rape was the nicest thing he did that day, this kid. I don't know about the rest of them. Look, there's only one left, but Keith, sadly, like it or not, you are the representative not only of yourself and being honest on the show, but of the entire black population of the United States right now. <laughs> Hope that's not too much pressure. Um, if you will admit right now, give me two of these guys that did it, I will get my people to drop the civil lawsuit against OJ. <laughs> I feel like uh, Jackie Robinson, man. <laughs> All right, I'll give you those two, but I want you to give me um, Diallo. Okay. Yes. We already uh, got him. Louima. Two undisclosed police beatings. <laughs> plus the fact that on The Sopranos, a show full of Italians, two black guys get whacked. What the hell was that about? <laughs> I love that. I love that. Uh, I love that diverting attention from the black rapists. <laughs> you know, well, how, how could they? How could they uh, vacate that sentence? How could they let those guys go? First of all, they said it. They, listen, you know, as a married guy, I know what a forced confession looks like. And <laughs> that was not a forced confession. Those guys confessed to it. Uh -huh. So did that guy also confess? How about DNA? They found the DNA in the woman's sock. Yeah, you know, they found it in her sock. It took them so long to find it because they didn't know to look in the sock because black guys have big penises. <laughs> Wait a minute, where, 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 where the hell did that come from? <laughs> oh, yeah. That's why they have that DNA really. in the sock. Okay. Right, exactly. You know who should oh, that's be? Nice. It's the female <laughs> DNA, the new uh, the uh, assistant DNA. DA? Yeah, she should be, um, she's the one that should be made to jog around the park at midnight with nothing but a t-shirt and a scent of fried chicken on her. <laughs> oh, 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 shut up! Hey! hey. It's tough oh, crowd, folks. Show, folks. It's tough crowd, folks. That's how it's gonna be. Look, Get used oh, to it. Welcome to the show. Yeah. Now, Keith, do you feel that these guys are really innocent, yeah. or do you think these just pay back for like the Scottsboro Boys and past things? Yeah. Well, past things you gotta realize, man. Like they say with the corporations, all these guys are getting away. Like billionaires getting six years. My cousin did twelve years for stealing a Marshall Falk jersey from the damn Marshall <laughs> store. <laughs> <laughs> these guys confessed, you know, some of these guys confessed to raping this woman in front of their own mother, okay? Yeah. I mean, my, my mother once found a Playboy under my pillow. I'll deny it to the day I die. <laughs> yeah, but I have to say, I think they were doing, they were obviously doing something wrong. They were not home baking yeah. cookies with their mothers. Wait a minute, why are you guys looking at me, first of all? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not one of the jobbers. No, I'm serious. These <laughs> guys did something I will give wrong. you the guy from Tyco, if you give me this kid, I'll give you Ken DeLay from Enron for this kid. <laughs> No, so seriously, up. they were doing something wrong. They, I mean, they, they shouldn't be blamed well, for that. Well, let's but... talk about, it. to me, that was a phony story because of the way it was handled. It was very polite and nice. You said the phony story is the corporation way. Anybody else, have, what's yes. you, to your idea, what's a phony, yeah. typical media story where they're just trying not to offend people? Well, the, the fact that they put up that the fat people should have handicapped parking spots. My brother is in a wheelchair, and I don't think he should give up his parking spots for some fat, sweaty guy with a gland problem. <laughs> well, who's going to argue with somebody that starts a sentence with, my brother's in a wheelchair? Exactly. <laughs> You know what I mean? Oh, she said my brother's fat and he's in a wheelchair. That's the only way he can top her right now. <laughs> Let's face the facts, folks. If you grew up white, you have a different idea of truth than if you grew, grew up black. Everybody sees things according to their perception. That's why we have separate networks. So stay right here. After I've given you all this wisdom, the least you can do is sit through a couple of commercials and walk by their crummy products, can't you? Well, that'll be cut.